The straw bale bird hide was, was one of my ideas early on um, when I first started on the project. It was basically born from my years of bird watching and visiting just wooden bird hides and I thought this project was a great chance to do something a little different. So here today we're, uh, we're starting our straw bale build, um, building a straw bale bird hide for our new decoy visitor information. Well, I've never done anything like this before, so that's why I got in contact with Chug. Chug is someone who is an expert at uh, building straw bale buildings. He's been doing it for over 10 years now, and we needed his help on the project. We needed his expertise. The straw is basically, it's a natural material, it's sustainable, if we haven't got enough bales to build what we want to build this year, then next year we'll harvest a load more bales, so from that point of view we're not depleting the earth's resources, we're just basically growing what we need and making use of what basically is a waste product in this country now. The eco-credentials are very important. Um, all of the materials are sort of sustainable and as much as possible sourced very locally. So the straw for the building came less than half a mile down the road. Despite the weather we've gone on really well, we're just about on schedule. We've got the first coat of render on all round now, which is giving it a basic kind of waterproof tool. So we've kind of passed the real worrying stage now. I, I, really, I like wildlife and nature, I'm quite passionate about it and um, when, when I'm older I want to have a career in conservation. But being a part of it, knowing that I've done a bit towards as well, it would be, be nice to come down here and see when it's all finished and see what's around here. It's a lot of hard work, blood, sweat and tears over it and um, I've not seen a bird hide like it before. So it's the final day of the build today, it's been brilliant, it's been absolutely fantastic, lots of people have helped out, it's come exactly how I imagined it would in my head before I even sort of had the first drawings down on paper and I'll have a nice weapon features out in front of the hide and people will be able to, to come and see some of the things we're, we're trying to achieve across the whole of the Great Film project.